Hey dear students, so the question for today's video is three point charges are aligned along the x axis as shown in figure below. Find electric field at the position x equals to 2.0 meter and y equals to 0. So let's suppose this is the point where we need to find out the electric field. I have marked this point 2.0 meter that is x equals to 2 and y equals to 0. So students, uh, before we start the question for our own convenience let's just mark this charge as A, this charge as B and this charge as C and we need to find out the electric field for these three charges means we have to find out the electric field thrice we know the formula for electric field is KQ over R square so for A it will be EA let's call it EA equals to KE that is constant QA for charge A over RA square. So students, uh, we have all the values. We just need to substitute the values in this equation and find out electric field at point A. So students, you can see I have substituted all the values. Just don't forget to substitute the values in a standard unit. It was given na in uh, nanocoulomb. So convert it by multiplying it with minus uh, 9. And one more thing, this is the origin and we need to find out at this point which is 2 meters away from the origin. So this distance has come by adding 2 plus 0.5. So it is 2.5. Okay students, now we need to find out the electric field for point B. So the formula for electric field at point B will be for charge B. It will be Ke that is constant Qb magnitude of charge b over rb square so again we have all the values we just need to substitute the values in standard units and find out the uh, electric field for a charge b as well so students you can see the calculations for eb uh, 8.99 exponent 9 it's constant that is the value of ke qb we just have substituted the value of qb in standard units uh, 5 nanocoulomb was given so we have converted it into coulombs and this is the uh, distance 2 because b is at origin and from origin the distance was 2 meter where we had to find out the electric field so that is why the distance from charge b to this point that is 2 is only 2 because charge b is at origin now for uh, charge c we need to uh, write the equation first that is ec equals to ke that is constant qc the magnitude of charge c over rc is square so students just substitute the values and find out the uh, answer of ec so here is the calculation uh, for ec this is little bit tricky see how this 1.2 k the distance from origin that is this to the point where we have to find out the electric field is 2 whereas the distance from origin to charge c is 0.8 so to find out the distance from uh, charge c to the point uh, where we are finding this electric field will be 2 minus 0.8 so that is why it is 1.2 meter distance okay students so before we move on now we need to uh, find out the directions of these fields as well so for directions we already have discussed this thing that if we have a positive charge the direction of electric field will be away from it and if we have a negative charge the direction of electric field will be towards this negative charge so if we are at this point that is 2 meter so the uh, point uh, so sorry so this uh, positive charge that is charge a sorry this is negative charge okay students so this negative charge is uh, charge a and the direction of it uh, this field will be in this direction means towards this charge because it is negative now for point B because it is a positive charge so that uh, we know that positive charge direction is away so if we are at this point the direction of charge B will be this side and similarly same thing for charge C so this is A this is B and this is C 
now we need to find out the total electric field so for total electric field we don't have y axis we only have x axis so this is quite simple we just need to add up all these electric fields so let's say total electric field is the sum of ea plus eb plus ec right students we have all the values ea eb and ec one more thing because the direction of this a is towards negative x axis we know the axis this is towards negative x axis so overall ea will be negative and whereas the direction of b and c is positive so overall eb will be positive and ec will also be positive now we only need to substitute the values and find out the answer so ea is minus 5.7536 EB is 11.2375 and EC is 18.73 so just substitute these values in your calculator and you will get 24.2 Newton per cool and this 24.2 is positive means net electric field is in positive x direction and you can say if you want to uh, uh, sound fancy you can say that theta equals to zero towards positive x axis hope you like the uh, video and if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe the channel and share with your friends as well